けれどお礼は言っておくわありがとうだが堀北仲間だと思ったことはない全ての人間は道具でしかないお前にあんた俺の詮索はするなこの世は勝つことが全てだ俺が勝ってさえいけばそれでいいお前もしかも平川もやめて俺の工事か So, um, I'm Kiyotaka Ayanakoji. Uh, I can't wait to study with you. Uh, uh, I'm not really good at anything in particular. Uh, I'll do my best to get along with you all. I blew it. I'm sorry. I was just curious, cause, well, you didn't want to give up your seat either. I was wondering if, like me, you'd rather stay out of it. I'm nothing like you. In my case, I stayed silent as a matter of principle. Uh-huh. That makes her worse than me. I can tell you're holding back. No, I'm just not very good at sports. You're athletic. I've seen you show your skill, remember? Why do you hide what you're capable of? Why does it irritate you? Or is it that you just don't want to lose at anything? <laughs> Did you want to talk to me about something? Yeah, just promise you won't breathe a word to anyone. Mm -hmm. uh. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me, are you an upperclassman? Mm -hmm. I'm Kiyotaka Ayanokochi from Class 1B. You're in the D-Class for your grade too, aren't you? Oh yeah? Free food selection is pretty abysmal, isn't it? What do you want from me? I want to consult with you about something. Don't worry, I will make it worth your while. About what? Do you still have any of your class's mid-questions from two years ago? Kushida, you must have been sent from heaven to help us pass. <laughs> I am a Koji. Mm -hmm. Be honest, what exactly did you do?
you have no secrets for me. What that means for you is I can expose you anytime I want. What are you planning to do with me? Let's see how far you're willing to go. Spread your legs. What do you plan on doing? Tell me exactly how do you intend to resolve all this? I see. It seems his aim is to end this conflict by himself. No way. I don't understand. Is he planning to thwart Ryu and his group all alone? I still don't get why you told me to argue with Horikita. I actually agreed with her idea. And what was the point of asking Kushida for her opinion? Come on, don't you think I deserve to know? If I had to explain myself for every little thing, it'd be a pain. 
Excellent. From now on, she'll be entirely dependent on me. I proposed an end to our arrangement, which sparked a fear of abandonment in her, and waited until she was at her breaking point. Only then did I come to save her. Everything went as planned. I upheld my promise to her, and now she genuinely trusts that I'll protect her. I suppose I'm still stuck in that place. No wonder. Will I ever see those around me as more than just pawns? Will the relationships I've made so far ever be more than that? I've been looking for a chance to speak with you privately. It has been a while. Right, Ayana Koji? Do I know you? Hmm. Perhaps not, but I know exactly who you are. The ultimate masterpiece of the White Moon. Though as far as I'm concerned, you're nothing but a false genius. But don't worry, I'll make sure to bury you. Really now. Well, you are welcome to try. How long are you going to be utterly useless? What do you mean by that? What do you think? I'm just calling it as I see it, and you're useless. If you ask me, this is the perfect chance for you to acquire a weapon. Weapon? Kensudo can be that weapon. Use him. In the same way I use you. Walking that bit and I feel like this shit. Walking that bit with a bit that you hit. ボールを Seriously? You really were planning to hurt her, weren't you? 
better let her go now. Go away. This doesn't concern you. She sounds like a completely different person. Close one. You fight like an expert. Which of the arts do you practice? Piano and calligraphy. DJ do baile te sarra piroca, DJ do baile te sarra piroca, tu joga pra trás, tu joga pra trás, tu joga pra trás, posting, 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 posting. Cari no kimi ga sono sentaku o suru no da to shitara, watashi wa watashi jishin to pride o mamoru tame. 向かってくる者全員をノックアウトするだろうねお前一人にやれるとやれない理由を考える方が難しいねこいつは俺とは違うぞ Saca, 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 sem nem te preocupação. これが葬れるのかやれない理由を考える方が難しいね。
Continue the onslaught. Destroy them. Thunder 
nigga that I ain't gon' fuck with. Yeah. You are my finest work to date, and my most prized possession. Oh, spare me. Next you'll tell me, it's because I'm your son. I see no reason for me to leave this school. This isn't a request. I get that you're used to having your orders followed, but your authority doesn't extend past the White Room. Speaking of which, the White Room has resumed operations.
Turns out we put our head Things start to snap your fingers As if it was really not easy for me to get over Snapping one, two, where are you? I see you in the How smart is Ainakoji? As the sole survivor of the White Room's double curriculum, Ainakoji is a bona fide monster. At the age of two, Ainakoji already displayed the ability to critical think and retain memories. By the time he was four, he mastered five different writing systems and various martial arts. At nine, he sold a room full of trained mercenaries, and his mental age was that of a college graduate. Because of this progression, by the time he was ages 10 to 12, he was outperforming the very institution that was there to educate him. Interestingly, Ainakoji was actually unremarkable from the beginning. Whether it was studies, martial arts, or anything, his initial results were always mediocre, but what set him apart was his ability to adapt, build upon, and absorb his talents. While others had a stealing, Ainakoji had no limitations. Have you ever wondered how scary was Kiyotaka Ayanokoji in the classroom of the elite? At the age of 9, Ayanokoji was the sole survivor of his generation in the white room having exceeded all physical and academic standards. To push him further, the White Room management had to procure external resources. One day, Ayanokoji was tested to a fight against a group of professional fighters. Upon seeing him, they mocked him and out of pity they even give Ayanokoji the chance to fight with weapons. He initially declined until instructed otherwise, so he chooses the baton with the allowance to not hold back and was also allowed to kill them. A few minutes later, all the opponents were left unconscious and near death. The instructor panicked and questioned him on why he went so far. Ayanokoji simply stated, I was ordered to try and kill if I can. During the fight, Ayanokoji remained calm, relaxed, and had a steady heart rate. He felt absolutely nothing at all. Now, a question for you guys. How old is Ayanokoji in the anime?